Meghan Markle's father looked happy and relaxed as he recovers from heart attack which kept him from his daughter's wedding to Prince Harry. He suffered a heart attack less than three weeks ago but Meghan Markle's father already appears to be making a good recovery. Thomas Markle SR, 73, looked to be in good health as he visited a barber in his adopted hometown of Rosarito in Baja, California. The retired lighting director spent Sunday afternoon at Peluqueria Rosarito, a unisex salon, where he treated himself to a $10 trim and a $5 shave. A source told Daily Mail com that Markle appeared happy and was seen smiling to himself as he left the establishment. He looked really good, the onlooker said. He seems to have lost a bit of weight and he was very chatty with the barber. Markle has been barely seen since announcing he would not be walking his 36-year-old daughter Meghan down the aisle in Windsor on May 19. He had planned to be at Street George's Chapel but pulled out citing ill health just days before too close to the ceremony to change the printed programs which carried his name. The 73-year-old claimed to have suffered a heart attack two weeks before the wedding, even though he was pictured purchasing two McDonald's Happy Meals in Los Angeles and a bucket of KFC fried chicken 24 hours after the coronary allegedly took place. A week before the wedding, he was revealed by the Mail on Sunday to have been setting up staged paparazzi photos with LA-based paparazzo Jeff Rayner. 44. The incident. Friends told Daily Mail, com, left him embarrassed. He then revealed, via his favorite outlet TMZ, that he had suffered a heart attack, telling the website the coronary had been brought on by his two eldest children, Samantha and Thomas Jr., squabbling in the press. Then with just three days to go before the ceremony, he said that he needed an emergency operation to insert three stents and would definitely not be in Windsor for the big day. His decision not to travel means he is still to meet new son-in-law Prince Harry, although sources in Los Angeles claim that could change in the near future. In a statement released before the wedding, Meghan said, I have always cared for my father and hope he can be given the space he needs to focus on his health. Despite claiming to have watched the ceremony from his hospital bed in San Diego, California, Markle instead spent the big day cloistered in a $1.31 a night Airbnb in Baja Malibu a scruffy gated compound less than two miles from his home. The stay is understood to have been set up by close friend Lori Davis, 38, who exchanged anxious messages with owner Charlotte Jane, 36, over his well-being and was keen to ensure the property contained a frying pan. Markle eventually returned home on the Monday after the wedding, driven in by Davis who has since boasted of being akin to a surrogate daughter to the septuagenarian. He, Davis, and her 10-year-old daughter Jocelyn took a brief trip across the border to San Diego the following day for a Chinese lunch but since then, the 73-year-old has maintained a low profile. Markle is understood to have been visited by Davis during his self-imposed seclusion, with Alejandra Madrid, a friend and former neighbor of Davis's, telling Daily Mail com that the pair routinely help each other out, Madrid said. Tom and Lori have been friends for a long time. He's a nice man. I've met him a couple of times but I don't know him that well. They're friends because of Jocelyn. He liked Jocelyn and he helps her out with Jocelyn. She would tag along and he would buy her whatever she wanted for Jocelyn. The single mom added, Lori is real kind. She's real kind to everybody, if you can get her to come out of the house. She hardly ever comes out of the house. She's always in her house. Markle whose outing also included a visit to an Oxo convenience store close to his home where he purchased milk and what appeared to be sodas, has lived in Rosarito since 2011. The town is home to up to 30,000 American expats, among them Long Beach native Davis and her mother Paris, 62, many of them drawn to the area by the low cost of living and spectacular Pacific views. But Rosarito does have a dark side and, along with neighboring Tijuana, has one of the highest murder rates in Mexico. In the run-up to the royal wedding, local headlines focused on the carnage, the result of an ongoing turf war between the Jalisco and Sonora cartels. One noted that 1,000 people had been murdered in Baja California in the first five months of 2018 while another reported on the discovery of a man's dismembered corpse inside a tamale truck in nearby Tijuana Zona Norte. The wedding itself which was screened at 4 a.m. local time, appeared to have passed Rosarito by, with the streets deserted and no evidence of parties.
one that had been planned at a coffee shop near Markle's home was cancelled following his decision to pull out. 